Hey guys, welcome on in for today's video where I'm going to be walking you through how to set up your NVIDIA Shield device to your television. Now, this is what the NVIDIA Shield looks like, and on the back here, we're going to be plugging in our power cord adapter, and then of course the other side is going to plug in to your wall outlet, and as soon as you get power, you're going to see that little green light show up on the NVIDIA Shield itself. Now, you also need to plug it in to your television using an HDMI cord, so you're also going to be plugging in that HDMI cord to the back of the NVIDIA Shield and then the other side obviously going in to the back of your television. And those are the two cords you need to hook up to get things going to start off here. So once you have those two cords plugged in, the next thing you're going to want to do is go to whichever HDMI input that you plugged your HDMI cord into. For me, it's going to be HDMI 3 on my television. So I'm going to go over and select HDMI 3. And then as soon as I launch that particular input it's going to take me through the initial setup process so you're going to select your language i selected english and then it's going to ask you do you have an android phone or tablet if you select yes it's going to take you through this automatic setup process so you're going to walk through these particular steps that you'll see on screen but for the purposes of this video i'm going to do the manual option i think it's pretty simple and straightforward to do the manual option in terms of setting up and more helpful, especially for those that aren't going to have an Android phone or tablet. So I'm going to take you over to how to do that process now. Back on this page, you're going to need to select no to do a manual setup. It's going to ask you to select your Wi-Fi network. For me, that's going to be Frontier 22. And then you're going to go ahead and type in your Wi-Fi router's password. After you type in your password, you click next, and then it's going to connect to your router. And as long as you typed in the password correctly, it should connect successfully. So after we've connected to our internet, it's going to ask us to sign in to our Google account. So we're going to go over and select sign in, type in your Google email and password. And then if you do that correctly, it should also say success. At this point, we're going to be going through and reading those terms of service and privacy policy. After you do that, you can click uh, the next option. And then also it's going to give you the option to either have your location turned on or off. I selected no. And then also the option to help improve Android TV. I also selected no for that, but you can select yes for those options. It's not going to be that big of a deal. It's just kind of a personal preference. And then same thing with NVIDIA reading through their privacy policy in terms of use. So you can go and work your way through that as well. Now it's going to ask you to add your favorite applications of some of the most popular apps that are on the NVIDIA Shield. So so you're just going to go through and click the select button on all the applications that you'd like to install and download. So for me, that's going to be Pandora, HBO Go, ESPN, uh, and then also Twitch TV. And I'm also going to install Steam. So then once you've selected all the applications that you'd like to add, you click continue. And then it's going to go through this installation process, which is going to take a little bit of time. So I'm going to go ahead and skip to the back end of this download. So now we're just about to the end here. And while you're going through that download phase, you can read the different controls for either your uh, remote control or your gaming controller to kind of prepare yourself for how you're going to be able to use that once you load yourself in. So now it's saying the Shield Experience Upgrade preparing to install. So now it's going to go through another installation process there. I'll skip ahead a little bit further. And it's just going to continue to go through this process of installing as well as downloading all of the relevant software as well as the applications that you've picked and then right at the end here it's going to go through the android boot up screen as we see there it says android and then after that it says your shield has been updated to the latest version of android tv so we're going to go ahead and continue on to the next page and again, it's going to have us select our Wi-Fi, but it's already been saved, so we're not going to have to type in our password on top of what we already did earlier. And then it's just going to walk you through these different slides here that's going to kind of give you an introduction on how to use different aspects of your NVIDIA Shield. So again, I recommend reading through these different slides to get yourself familiarized with the different options that you're going to have there on your NVIDIA Shield, but I'm going to skip a little bit ahead at this point. And then it's going to show you the upgrades after that point. But then if you move on from that page, it's going to take you to the main interface here. And it's somewhat similar in ways to the Amazon Fire TV as well as a Roku player. So if you've used those in the past, you should be able to find your way through 
this particular interface. The main difference here is there is a bit more of an emphasis on gaming with the NVIDIA Shield, but right at the top here, there's the settings in the upper right-hand corner. There's also a voice search in the upper left-hand corner, but you can also just click the voice search button on your NVIDIA remote. The top line, you're going to have your applications. The games are going to be on the second line. And then beyond that, this is going to eventually curate to the applications that you use most often and have that content there. But if you select applications, you're going to see all of the different apps that are currently installed that you can utilize with your NVIDIA Shield. Or then you can also go to the Get More Apps from the Google Android Store, which is always great. There's tons of applications that you can get through Android as well as games on top of that. In the upper left-hand corner, there's a little magnifying glass. If you know exactly what you're looking for, you can type it in up in that upper left-hand corner, but then it also has these different filter options if you just want to do a bit of browsing and see what's popular or available. And also another thing to keep in mind, if you ever know exactly which application you wanna look for, you can always just click the little voice search option on your NVIDIA remote and then just say a phrase like, I want to download Twitch TV or take me to the Twitch TV application and then it'll take you over to that page and you can install it if you want or if you've already installed it, then it'll just take you to Twitch TV itself. And that's just one example of many that you can obviously have with your NVIDIA Shield. All right, guys, I'm going to be wrapping up this video here, going back to the homepage and just scrolling through the settings, but it's a pretty straightforward process. Hope this was helpful in initially setting up your NVIDIA Shield. And of course, you can always customize this experience and cater it to exactly what you're looking for. And I'm going to continue to make more of these tutorial type videos with the NVIDIA Shield in the coming week. So you can check those out. Subscribe for more. Hope to see you guys back here for future videos.